studio right now um, I'm going to be doing an honest review of this truck uh, just a rundown of some of the specs um, stuff like that uh, this is actually after the run um, I've, I've got some footage I'll have at the end of the video of a couple a couple different spots uh, the last spot was really dry and, and dusty which was which was almost like the desert which is what this thing is uh, built okay. for um, so this truck is, is taking a complete beating um, I've purposely put this uh, truck through you know through its paces uh, just to see exactly how durable it is, how it handles uh, the different terrains. I've, I've tried some different spots for you guys. Uh, and this truck is just absolutely amazing. Um, and this is my honest review of it. Uh, uh, this truck, bone stock out of the box, to me, honestly, is tougher than some of my highly upgraded uh, Armas, some of my other uh, 6S rigs, you know, with all the uh, beefed up parts on it. I mean, this thing has taken some, some, <laughs> some gnarly rolls, hits, slams i mean just bulldozing through rocks and clumps and uh lid landings and uh i mean it's landing upside down sideways and it's it's just amazing and nothing on this truck is broken except the only thing that i have broke i mean nothing on the actual truck is broken but i did uh snap this uh up here where it flexes on the body mount i did snap that piece on the front and the rear right here <laughs> you know just from the insane uh body rolls it was it was taking uh, but as far as the actual truck goes, she is still together. Uh, still works flawlessly. There's no no bends. Drive shafts are still straight. Uh, the chassis, you may not even be able to see it right here, but but the chassis is still straight. I mean, it's got a couple, you know, it's got some nicks and stuff like that in it. You know, they're pretty bad. And I got just a very slight bow on this side right here, but the actual chassis itself is still straight from front to back. And you can see the tower-to-tower uh, -tower brace is still straight. And that says a lot, you know, for for the beating that this truck went went through, and also some of the jumps. I mean, guys, this is a seventh scale truck. You know, this this truck weighs 11 pounds without batteries in it. So you figure you put two, uh, you know, three S packs in it, you're you know you're looking at, you know, a good bit of weight. Know, send it you know, anywhere near like I do my other trucks. Uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't send it off my big ramp or anything. But it is a blast just to jump something that's this big, you know, and it's it's it's, it's pretty cool to see it in the air. And it handled it, you know. I mean, it's the, you know it, it does have some air control you know as long as you don't get too uh too vertical with it and um it's just a lot of fun again i did go up to a 17 tooth pinion the stock pinion is a, a 16 tooth that comes on a truck out of the box and it does come with a 20 tooth uh, optional pinion like for speed runs uh to get that claim 60 miles an hour um as far as some of the specs i just want to go over with some of you guys uh the shocks like i said the shocks are very plush i mean there's tons of travel you know up and down as you can see uh which enables it to hover over those ruts and rocks like it does and it has you know a lot of ground clearance i mean look at that there's a lot of ground clearance right there between up and down uh the shocks um they do appear to be the same shocks as the uh, 6s uh trucks the uh, crate and outcast but they do have different springs and they do run a uh, 550 cst oil you know which is a you know much lighter oil um, and then diffs, uh, stock out of the box, your center diff is going to have 100,000 in it, and then 50, 000, uh, I'm sorry, 10,000 in the front and 10,000 in the rear. And again, like I did, my, I showed my first video that the arms on this thing are very fat. I'm, I'm sure you can't see it in here, um, but the A arms are very thick, and they have yet to, to, to snap or crack or anything. I mean, this this thing is just built like a tank, and all the uh, uh, suspension mounts are actually made differently too. Um, they're you know quite a bit um, thicker and like i said too with all the uh with all the bumpers the way they're made with all the flex and the side uh bumpers right here you know this truck just enables you to take a lot of hits and it just you know it'll barrel roll and just keep on going <laughs> and it doesn't damage anything inside the truck which is which is genius uh the shock towers are, are still straight on this truck uh, i haven't broken any shock cap screws i mean you know everything is, is still together so my honest review of this truck is a is an A plus. I mean, huge shout out to Arma, you know, for the innovation of this truck. 
um, and, and also up, you know, listening to us hardcore bashers and, and you know, out of the box upgrading the rod ends, which is huge. Uh, venting the tires, that's huge. Uh, just, you know, just anything that helps us just, you know, pull this thing out of the box and bash hard without having to, you know, <laughs> you know, dump tons of money into it, you know, before we can, before we can do that. So that's really appreciated. And, um, again, just huge shout out to Armand Horizon Hobby for sending me this truck. I mean, I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed, uh, I've had three hard runs on it now. Like I said, nothing's broke and it's just, it's just been a pure joy to run. So, um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play some footage and, uh, I can't wait to uh, get it back out again. All right, guys. Peace out. Oh, Guys, again, it is just insane how this thing just hovers over all these uh, ruts. I mean, this terrain is really rough. You can't even tell on the camera. But I mean, this thing just soaks it up. Oh! <laughs> it didn't soak that one up. But she keeps on ticking. Oh! Oh man, I was close! <laughs> Man. <laughs> She's like the bulldozer. Yeah, this thing's classified as a desert truck and man this is like the desert out here it's dry and dusty Oh, man, that was close. Oh. 
Oh. 